Having done the multiplication of three digit numbers, let us now see how can we multiply a three digit number with a two digit number. For example, let's say we have to multiply 694 with 73. Now multiplication of a three digit number with another two digit number is as good as multiplying two three digit numbers. What we only need to do here is this th two digit number 73 has to be converted into a three digit number and that can be done simply by placing a zero in front of 73. The reason behind keeping a zero here is that once this number becomes a three digit number we can apply the same five step procedure of three digit multiplication even in this case. That is nothing but first we need to multiply the unit spaces then cross multiplication of unit spaces with tens places then again cross multiplication of units and hundreds and multiplication of tens places fourth step is multi cross multiplication of tens places with hundred places and the fifth step is multiplication of hundred places. So the same procedure that we have learned in case of three digit multiplication can be applied for three digit number when multiplied with two digit number by keeping a zero in front of the two digit number. So let's see what's the answer for this question. Now the first step as we know is 4 into 3, 12. So 2 is in the answer and 1 gets carried forward. Second step is cross multiplication of units and hundreds places. So 9 into 3, 27 and 7 into 4 is 28. 27 plus 28 is 55. 55 and 1 is the carry here. 55 plus 1 is 56. So we take 6 in the answer and now 5 gets carried forward. Now the third step here as we know is cross multiplication of units place with hundreds place and multiplication of tens places. So 6 into 3 is 18. Now as you see here 4 into 0 is 0. So 6 into 3 18 plus 0 is 18 and 9 into 7 is 63. So 63 plus 18 will be equal to 81. So the result for the third step here is 81. And since 5 is the carry here, 81 plus 5 will be equal to 86. So again, 6 is in the answer and 8 is the carry forward. Moving on to the fourth step, that is cross multiplication of tens place with hundreds place. So 6 into 7 is 42 and 9 into 0 is 0. So simply, we say that the cross multiplication here results in 42. 42 and 8 is the carry. 42 plus 8 is 50. So we take 0 in the answer and now 5 gets carried forward. And the last step we know here is multiplication of hundred spaces. Now since one of the numbers is a two digit number, the hundred space is zero and six into zero will result in a zero. So zero should be directly added to the carry here, five. So we can say that the answer here is five zero double six two. So this is how we can multiply a three digit number with a two digit number. The procedure remains same as that of three digit multiplication but the only point to be noted here is before we start the multiplication we need to consider a zero in front of the two digit number so that it appears like a three digit number. And as you can see here in the last step that is in the fifth step we actually have nothing to do. Why because one of the hundred spaces is zero so multiplication of hundred spaces will anyhow result in a zero. So that means very clearly in fourth step itself we can directly write the final answer. Let's now take one more example which you will solve based on the same technique. Let's say we have to multiply the number 583 with 67. Now, try to multiply these two numbers and get the required answer. Right, so I hope you all have got the right answer. Now going by the same concept, let's place a zero here. Now the first step as we know should be 3 into 7, 21. So 1 in the answer and 2 gets carried forward. Second step is cross multiplication. 8 into 7, 56. 6 into 3, 18. 56 plus 18 will be 74. 74 and 2 is the carry here. 74 plus 2 is 76. So we take 6 in the answer and 7 is the carry forward. The third step is cross multiplication of units place with hundreds place and tens place multiplication. So 7 into 5 is 35 and 3 into 0 would be 0. So 35 plus 0 is 35 and next multiplication here is 18 to 6, 48. So 48 plus 35 will be 83. 83 and 7 is the carry. 83 plus 7 is 90. So we take 0 in the answer and now 9 is the carry forward. And moving on to the fourth step, we know that it should be cross multiplication of tens place with hundreds place. So 5 into 6 is 30 and 8 into 0 is 0. 
So 30 plus 0 would be 30. 30 and 9 is the carry. So we get 39 as the answer for the fourth step. And we very well understand that there is not going to be any fifth step. Why? Because multiplication of 100 spaces will anyway give us a 0. So in the fourth step itself, we can stop and get the required answer. So the fourth step here was 5 into 6, 30 plus 0, 30. And 9 is the carry. 30 plus 9 is 39. So the answer for this multiplication here, that is 583 into 067 will be equal to 39,061. So as you can see, multiplication of a three-digit number with a two-digit number is quite similar to what we have done in three-digit multiplication. So this is how you can multiply a three-digit number with a two-digit number by placing a zero in front of the two-digit number.